I feel like the only way Snore is going to get die early, though, is if he gets hit off stage. So Cotton's going to need to go for that, but we'll see what happens here. He's got the level 100 tag. He was using level 60 against me. That's kind of funny. I like that. Going up a level. He almost died just now. That was wild anyways, though. Already at 66%, though, but off the ledge, this is definitely not where you want to get hit by Jigglypuff. So much extensions off of side B, off of forward air, off of forward throw. Just any move that sends you horizontally, Jigglypuff's going to be able to convert off of it. Immediately answering back with 71% of their own. But as I said, as soon as Cotton gets off stage, it's just one fair, one good ledge trapping move. All of Bowser's moves are so huge. That Nair is going to barely beat out that forward air, but that was a bit close. Now, obviously, Cotton's been doing great, but a win on Snore right now would be great for him. It would be a good PR win to get. Guarantee top three here, and he's actually going to get the first sock. Cotton doing a great job of keeping him off stage, but the command grab definitely going to make him explode. That is going to kill Jigglypuff. Stupid early at all percents, or at all stocks, basically. Nice little converge. The jab lock. Oh, oh, but he gets sent too far. That was a bit unfortunate. Definitely looking for a really nice uh, string right there. Got a little bit robbed of the clip. But the down air down beat definitely not going to kill Bowser. That is not what you want to be doing in this matchup. Snore maybe should have hit him the other way there, but he probably just kind of panicked, saw whatever side he was on. Um, yeah, no, as I said, this is just a bit of a slobber knocker. Nice back air right there to call out the neutral B timing. Snore down onto his last dock, Cotton. All he needs is one good combo into a rest, and he can take this game. But now he's off stage. What can Snore do? The fairs are going to be really, really important right now. And there it is. Not strong enough, though. No rage absolutely whatsoever. Maybe even the tiniest bit of rage that stock would have been gone. The down air, though. Not able to convert anything else. Oh, but he's going to get grabbed right there. You could hear the pound go out, but the command grab grabbed it enough. Cotton. Now down to his last stock, but a nice downer right there. He should, should be able to get a lot off of this. Couldn't get the tech, though, or the tech um, tech setup. Nice grab reset right there from Cotton. Super, super smart. Maybe it looks like he was waiting for an air dodge or something right there. Didn't give it to him, though. What's up? Looks like we got C-Money joining me on the mic. Oh, you already know we got the Lit Boys on the mic here. can't hear myself. There we go. There we go. I was about to say, yeah, I can't hear you. There we go. <laughs> All right. Cotton looking to take game one. And he does oh. right there. Right as C-Money gets on the mic. That's the blessing he needed. The forward air off stage and Cotton up 1-0 on Snore. That's my bro right there. Cotton. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm super happy he's been performing well. He's a super nice guy. I mean, very, very friendly. Very... Very nice, you know. He gave me some good advice. I think he's really smart. I'm happy he's doing as well as he is. He taught Hbox everything he knows. Seems like it, man. I mean, he's hitting some crazy confirms and reads. I mean, that grab, that grab reset on the platform there a minute ago was just absolutely ridiculous. He's got two pairs of headphones, bro. He's out here, dude. One for cosmetic purposes and one for gaming purposes. Nah, I'm kidding. It's okay. He's got music or game audio and he prefers game audio. I would too as we're heading into here to game two on PS2. He's ready. He can hear everything. All right, uh, but up throw Nair already at 46 and you're already in danger Jeez, of losing your stock. That's a lot of damage, yeah. bro. That's a bit of a ridiculous but, confirm okay. there. But. Down air, get it started with the up. He's going to get Snore out of that situation. The oh, shield break the pound. I mean, I don't think he can kill him off of this, but... Yeah. That is still gonna send him at an awkward angle. Funny. Yeah, I'm about to say that down air, that down smash, gonna send him somewhere weird. That's that's optimal punish right there. Oh. Going off stage, barely gonna miss that nair. If he hit that, that might have been curtains for Snore on that stock. Right they're gonna send at a good angle. This should be it. This is exactly what I was saying, man. This matchup's gonna be oh, whoever gets hit off stage. Snore, great recovery, going low. Ooh, definitely a bit swinging too much for Cotton. Got a bit greedy, and Storm's going to punish that with a downbeat. Yeah, not a good trade. Storm's just going to try to find some fish and credit, and that fire is going to be a lot of damage. Yeah, I think there's so much damage for no reason. Nice grab. Shield grab right there from Cotton to punish the forward air. That move is not easy to punish whatsoever. Nair off stage should do it. There it is, right into the fair. That is absolutely free against Bowser, it seems like, as 
he's going to take that stock, but ooh, nice ooh. fade back right there. He, he got hit by that. That was absolutely the stock. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, but Storm's going to jump out of it at the perfect time, but Cotton's not done. Good damage. The footstool. Pound. Gets the spot dodge into a punish. Oh, up there. Oh, man. Oh. He pulled the trigger just, just slightly too late. Cotton shaking his head a little bit. He knows that he definitely should have had that one. Maybe he hesitated a bit too much. Now Storm in the driver's seat to take this game, but we'll see what Cotton has to say about it. Okay, tech chase, nice. Off stage, oh. tough spot to be in, but nice jumps right there for Storm oh, on the, the footstool. footstool. Very, very, very good recovery there from Storm. He's just finding these trades are all good for Storm. <laughs> They're brilliant for Snor, including that up smash, which wasn't a trade. It just straight up beat out whatever Cotton wanted yeah, to do. Yeah, he was like, screw trades. I got one better. I'm yeah, just going to kill you. With after that um, unfortunate uh, miss rest, it seemed like the momentum just kind of switched over to Snor's side as we were going to be going into game three. Winner, best of three? Yeah, I believe it's best of three, right? Yeah, because only finals are best of five. So yeah, winner of this, I believe, gets Ray. And then winner of that gets Z3 and Grand. So pretty difficult path for either of these players. But I mean, either of them can do it, in my opinion. So I'm excited to see whoever makes it. For sure. Snore and Cotton, both exciting players to watch. Oh, Cotton taking off that other headset, bro. He doesn't need it anymore. Oh, he's going Super Saiyan. He's like Rock Lee when he dropped the weights. Exactly, bro. He doesn't need that anymore. He's ready. But Snore getting off good to start. Yeah, 46 good. damage. I feel like at this point you're counting. just gonna start at 46 yeah. against Bowser. Like just up throw whatever. Up throw Nair, up throw Fair, up throw Bear, whatever the hell you want. Up throw Bear's out of thing, but whatever. Jumping Didn't. in the area, just applying pressure with the empty hops. Trying to get Cotton to do something and he's got him off stage now. Nice oh. get up attack right there. Yep. Okay. <sighs> That's going to be the sock, definitely. Nice whiff or punish. Not even a whiff punish, a shield punish there from Snore. That, that side B is really, really good. Yep. They'll just take the damage from the one pound and looks like free kill. Looks like Cotton was reading that air dodge, but just didn't really react to it in time. Just kind of let it happen. Maybe he was too far away to do something. Okay. Stops him from using the fire breath, stuffs it out. Oh, tried oh. to reason neutral get up, but Snore's going to do the get up attack, which is very big for Bowser. Yep. That's the power of patience on the ledge. Goes for the up nice. shield and nice, nice, smart punish there from Cotton. The rest will take the stock on Snore. Sub 100% on Bowser is definitely a great time to take the stock. That was exactly what he needed. But let's see if he can keep it going. Oh, that's gonna be some big damage. He's gotta go for like he down air do? or something, right? Oh, up <laughs> tilt. Doesn't it? 21. You know, I thought he was gonna go for like dare loops or something, but you know that works too. He did that one for 21 Savage. 21. <laughs> Shout outs right here. Oh, Snore just barely jumping over that. Cotton swinging a little bit right now, looking like he wants to get something started. The parry, though, from Snore into the jump side, but he's so good at that. Yeah, that was pretty nasty. Ooh, nice punish okay. right there. Knew he was going to swing. He can kill him here. Oh. oh, he doesn't give him the neutral air dodge like I gave him earlier, <laughs> actually. Yeah, that's and that's going to kill him for it. Good DI by snore to not land on that platform yeah he knew he knew if he neutral air dodged he definitely would have died so air dodge away was the smart choice but now cotton's off stage he had an opening but snore great recoveries oh the charge oh, oh my goodness you know <laughs> no that's so uh, unfortunate dude I don't even know what to say. That's such an abrupt ending to the set. It's like I'm caught off guard right now. 